What's up, dirty plant hoes and all you dirty plant enthusiasts out there? It is I, Rachel, your plant madam, and this is little madam, Mrs. Lidu. And there's Peapot back there in the back, and Winston's over here in the dog bed. And today I thought we would look at some prop boxes that I have not been into in months. I opened one up and it actually smelled bad, so... I have no idea what I'm really going to be getting into. I've been focusing a lot on Christmas coming up. What are you smelling? We've just had a lot going on and I've been focusing on the big tent and I haven't really been transferring a lot of things out of the prop boxes and into the big tent. So it's kind of a mystery what's going on in there. And I know for sure, like I said, one of them smells bad. So let's go take a look at, I'm sure there's mold and all kinds of like weird stuff going on in there. So. It is what it is and we're gonna, I have like four, I have four different prop boxes and we can look at those. But before we go have a look at the stinky prop boxes, I'd like to say thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators. Explore new skills, deepen existing passions, and get lost in creativity. It's curated specifically for learning, meaning there are no ads and they're always launching new premium classes so you can stay focused and follow wherever your creativity takes you. Skillshare is so amazing that they hooked my viewers up with a one month free trial instead of the usual 14 days. So the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in my description box will get one full month free trial of Skillshare, which is super valuable so you can start exploring your creativity today. Here's some classes I have queued up for myself because boy golly do I need a lot of help with photography. Portrait photography, capture incredible shots with Jessica Kobiesi. Photography for Instagram, capture and share your life with Hannah Argyle. Holistic interior design, transform your personal space for well-being by Clear Studios. And the ultimate self-care playbook by Jonathan Van Ness. Whether you're a dabbler or a pro, a hobbyist or a master, you're creative. Discover what you can make with classes for every skill level. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so here is what the top of the first prop box looks like. Condensation is a thing. It has been collecting and I don't know what is going to be going on in here. I don't remember what I had in here. I've had my mind on other things. I'm not very good with labeling. As you guys know, when you can my pee back. Her can tell I'm trying to pay attention to something other than her. Oh, dear Lily, her cute too. Okay, so let's have a look at what's in here. And I'm gonna try to get all the condensation to stay inside the tote. All right, people, get back. So I'm gonna get a corner like this. <gasps> and then I just smushed something. I just knocked this cup over right here. Well, not a good way to do it, but all the water went in. So I'll do that. There. Winston, could you not be eating right now? It, well, first of all, the elephant in the room. I mean, these, this is a gigantic gigas. Um, you can see when I pick it up, it is really big. Um, I've tried multiple times to propagate this beautiful gigas you can see i mean it's absolutely gorgeous you guys i haven't shown this in, in i don't know over a year and here is the second gigas and one of these survived the shipping from uh new life tropicals just like a piece of it and one of it is from one of them is from rachel firestone because she was like it heard that my other one was like looking all um, shabby and stuff. It's a long time ago, you guys. But yeah, go check out their channel. Uh, Taylor Firestone, Rachel Firestone, they're married. And she sent me one like a long time ago. So I'm not exactly sure which Gigas is the one that she sent. So, but they're both just gorgeous. They've got these big, huge, long leaves. This is one of the things that I wanted to transfer over into my big tent eventually and get up on deals but i am deathly afraid of moving either one of these outside of this tote because this is where they've lived for so long i actually haven't opened this one probably in about six months this is a little baby campos portuanum 
that I was mentioning, very underrated. This is the small little baby form of that plant. We have some variegated lipstick plants that were sent to me um, by one of my dirty plant hoes. Gorgeous lipstick plant. I need to get that out of here. There's gonna be a lot of I need a, and she don't work here, but I need to do a lot of shit. You know what I mean? Um, this is even, these lipstick plant cuttings have even bloomed in here and the blooms have fallen off. Um, yeah. Hang on, let me get one. So the lipstick plant has like the purple blooms, uh, the fuzzy one, the variegated one, and the non-variegated one has like the yellow blooms, which are really cool. These are in a cup. They've just been rooting in a cup for months and months. And it's so crazy how the condensation on these boxes will build up on the lid, drop back down, and it's like its own habitat. It's so cool. It's so cool. This needs to be trimmed. A couple of other things. This is just falling in on itself. But yeah, they're definitely bigger than my hand. These leaves, gorgeous. But yeah, that's box number one. Got some gigas, some campos, some lipstick plants and stuff like that. This one doesn't stink. I'll tell you which one stinks when I open it because it stinks really bad. I don't know what what made it stink as bad because this one just smells fine. This is a, per, a base of perlite and some Lega balls and that's all that's in the bottom of this. So no moss in this one. All right, on to the next one. Okay, here is the next one, and you can see the condensation built up on this box as well. And this is the stinky one. So this one smells really bad. I hear Winston sniffing it too, and I'm not sure why it stinks so bad. I guess there's some, like a lot of decaying plant matter in here. Mold. You see all the moldy stuff? Yeah, this has been, this has gone way too long. This is actually kind of dry. A little bit too. We've got our looks like some fungus has gotten to that. It's a splendid cutting. This right here, this is this color that has just gone absolutely crazy in here. It's like trying to take over the whole thing. This has got like fungus spots from it being in here for too long. I'm guessing with no ventilation. It did root up in this box here and it's with something else and I'm not sure what this is hmm this may be in another cutting off the splendid that's actually kind of what it looks like it looks like a secondary splendid cutting but for some reason this one dry decided to put off like little bitty teeny babies this is that Piper Ornatum I had it up for sale in one of the purges but just decided to keep it it's such a freaking cool plant put it in here and kind of forgot about it, but it has grown out this whole way. You see some dead leaf debris here. I think this might be the reason why it stinks so bad, but it really stinks in here. That's a dead leaf. See all the dead leaves? And all of that, um, this is this color is growing out of this cup. That's crazy. Look at how thick it is. Piper, ornatum, and then underneath it, it's just all the Sissus discolor. And then we've got, yeah, look, that's moldy, ew. Hang on, I'm gonna go grab some scissors real quick. Oh, my scissors are in here. Yeah. <coughs> it's like a leaf exoskeleton. Yeah, these just really need to be kind of cleaned out completely. This is the El Choco Red that I imported from Equigenera and it was just a stick. It had, it looked like it had some good leaves on it and they all end up kind of falling off. So this is it. And you can see it's got a new leaf coming in right there. So I, so technically I have been rehabbing this um, Varicosum number five, I think is what are they, what they sold it as in here for months. I mean, I don't know when I unboxed it, but it's been in here a long time. And it has a, a stem here that is like completely died here. So I'm going to, oh shit, I need to get my bleach spray. 
I can't do any cutting yet. I don't have my bleach stuff. I don't know. We're just going to leave it like that. But a couple varicosums in here. The um, El Choco or the varicosum number no. 5 from Equigenera. I've got a splendid cutting that looks kind of nasty. Piper Ornatum. And we got some degenerating leaves all over the bed here. It's like leaf litter. So we're going to have to definitely get that cleaned up. How do you do? Yes. Yes. Looking kind of shabby in here. That's tote number two. This is, it's been a long time since I've done anything with this. And that's probably why it smells bad. But. Okay, for this third tote, it is admittedly uh, has not been as long since I've been in this tote. This is where I put some of the things that Gully Greenhouse sent to me. This is the Adansonii cutting that I transferred into here and the um, maybe, maybe not, uh, like a Peruvian obliqua. Bolivian oblique was something like that. They weren't quite sure, but they had done some tissue cultures and they had sent me these two. This back here is a uh, Adansonii Laniolata cutting that it's hitting the top here. We have a Fibrosum, beautiful cutting here. You can see the hairy, oh my gosh, that it's grown off into the, it's grown off into the box, so I can't move it. It's in the cup and it's in the box in the box and in the cup that's what happens when you don't take your sh check your shit as often as you're supposed to i have a beautiful little alocasia popping up here out of nowhere we have a variegated heart leaf new mother plant starting here is a couple of things yeah this one's more recent from the purge this is a variegated lipstick plant that i put into this uh, little thing here to mail off, but no one bought that one. And here was a silvery Ann that I had done, and I don't think anyone bought that one either. But yeah, that's my Gully Greenhouse stuff. This is a Moonlight Philodendron, also came from uh, Gully's Greenhouse. This is a little variegated African Violet that's trying to lose its variegation in here. A Global Green Pothos, which is I love these things, like any pothos in the pothos family, gorge, I freaking love it. Then I have some frosted syngonium cuttings that I put in here a while ago, and more campo. The, the, this campos, they live everywhere. To me, it's just a different type of meekins because that's what they look like to me. We have a begonia, begonia whimsy. It's like a miniaturized version of the begonia maculata whitei. And then this frosted syngonium in here, which I don't even think I can pull it all out, but it's definitely rooted in there. I wanted to make another mother plant of this because this is one of the things that Harley sent me long, long ago. And I told you guys when I was like, I don't know, filming a different video that I hadn't made a freaking secondary plant of it. And I had felt so ashamed editing that video. So it's official. That's the second uh, frosted syngonium uh, parentage from the beautiful and talented and mother of two boys, just like myself, Harley G. So that is this cute little, oh my God, my knees, you guys. I need to see a doctor. <laughs> That's this box. Crazy, huh? I need to take care of your business, bitch. Take care of your life. Get your, get your life together. I only have one left. And I'm pretty sure this one's going to be embarrassing. So I haven't looked at this one. In a, oh my God, this is going to be embarrassing. There's full on giant dead leaves in this one. I think you can tell by the level of undisturbed condensation how long it's been since I've been in these things. It's been a while. Uh, I'm going to set this phone down so I don't get water everywhere. Ew. Why does it smell so bad? Oh, oh, this looks like a scary movie, you guys. I'm going to leave this one out to clean up, okay? Shut up. Quit judging me. Oh, my God. Like you're perfect. Please, stop. Lily, no, don't get into that shit. Don't do it. Okay, so there's some dead leaves. Ew, slimy. Look at this. What 
even with that? Was that a begonia at some point? I don't know, but it's slimy. It's gross. This was, um, I don't know what this is either. I think this was like I put some mystery stuff in here, like some stumps and shit that I didn't know exactly what they were. And I, this is just not doing well in here. Like these plants are just like melting in here. Yeah, not doing so hot. I still don't know what this is. It looks like shit. It can, it can be saved. This plant can be saved, but I still don't know what this is. Still have no idea. This is an ugly ass begonia in here. Got more dead leaves. Look at that mold. Ew. This is like a long, long, long gill latum. It's a philodendron that I ordered long ago from Equigenera and I put in here to rehab it and then I didn't ever have a home for it. This is kind of embarrassing, you guys. Gross. But this is the, I think this is the worst one and it also smells the worst. But it's like at the same time that stuff looks like crazy shit, okay? Gross, right? And there's like slime and shit. But at the same time, like look at how good these begonias look. And there's like blooms everywhere. Look, pretty. That's another begonia uh, whimsy right there. See how it actually starts getting pretty big? But not everything looks like shit. And it's all savable. There's nothing like not savable in here. It's just a bunch of like leaf litter and fungus like growing out of control. Yeah. Ew, huh? Oh my God, I forgot about this. This is that little tiny skindapsis hask that I ordered from Spotted Circus like forever ago and I put it in there I totally forgot about it. And it's still alive. Can you freaking believe it? Oh my god. I gotta get it out of here. I'm gonna get it out of here and go put it in my other like um, little seedling tote. Holy shit. I can't believe that was in here. It was off in the corner. <gasps> I saved it. It will live to fight another day. See? Skin daps his hask. It's written on the outside of the cup there. Shit. Can't believe I did that. Well, but that's it. That's the that's the end of the disgusting tour of some prop boxes that I have not opened in a long, long, long time. And uh, before you get excited thinking that you're going to shame me for any reason in the comment section, better think twice about that shit because I will block your ass. I love you guys and I really hope that you enjoyed looking at my mess of a situation with prop boxes. I hope it makes you feel better. If you've got some prop boxes at home that also need to be tended to, po buddies nerfed, you know what I mean? And uh, we all have our little um, skeletons in our closets and whatnot. This is just one of mine. My dirty little nasty prop boxes that all need to be cleaned out because spring is around the corner. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. Later today, I'm going to be going Christmas tree shopping with Casey because our Christmas tree, uh, the pre-lit stuff doesn't work on it anymore. So we're gonna go have to pick out a new one. So leave me a Christmas tree down in the comment section if you made it this far. Thank you so much again to Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. We really appreciate it. And don't forget to check out the Spider Farmer tents for Christmas coming up. It's not too late to order your loved one a Spider Farmer tent. So be sure and check those out. All you need is the tent and a light. You don't need um, the air purifying system and all that stuff if you're looking for a gift for your loved one. Peace out. Later taters. Bye. And now I would like to say a big, dirty, and nasty shout out to all of my dirty plant enthusiasts. Seven Puggies, Cindy C, Abby Gilbert, Ace Cadet, Alexandra Chilton, Alina Cameron, Always Propagating, Amanda Davila, Amy Adwan, Apollinia, Ashley Caraveo, Ashley Sexton, Bailey Barnett, Bethany Estes, Bougie Panda, Bryn, Carly Grinnell, Casey Dillon, Casey Gladwell, Chamomile Camille, Chelsea Bertucci, Colleen Hatton, Corey Traxler, Crazy Plant Lady, Cuties with Cardi, Daniel Holt, Darren Heppel, David Sawyer, 
Deandra Belarus, Emily Kingsley, Aaron Roche, Fenner Lamb, Fredo79, Goncalo Martins, Gretchen Ward, Haley Martin, Haley Kester, Hannah Gould, Harper Gray, Heather Summers, Heidi Christofferson, Hells Bells, Holy Coley, House Planty Goodness, Hunter Jolly, Jamie Ellis, Jake Rowe, J.S., Jenna Maria, Jennifer Garlametto, Jessica Viola, Jody Smith, Cassandra Hines, Kathy W., Katrin, Kelly Hodgson, Kim Toby, Kimberly Mossman, Not Dude, Christy Bim, Kaya Hauser, Kylan Cooper, Lauren Loves Leaves, Leia Tarbuck, Lily W., Lilac Moore, Lillian Morin, Lisa Nolan, Lola Isabel, Luis H., Luna Moth Forest, Maggie Davis, Mahoney McGrath, McKenna Smith, Mackenzie Hogarth, Mara Baker, Maureen W., Megan Moyna, Meeks, Mev H., Michelle A., Michelle Meckle, Michelle Reed, Michelle Watts, Monica Allison, Monica Humphreys, Nikki Toller, Ordinary Plant Girl, Pam's Pretty Plants, Plants Every Inch, 902, Rachel Sharp, Rhea Shields, Ricky Mulbach, Safayi Bahadir, Soholio, Sarah Santas, Sarah Parrish, Seth Miller, Showers ASMR, Sophie, Sophie Bodding, Steph Miller, Stephanie Bazella, Stephanie Menzies, Tanya Houtsaker, Tara Christensen, Taylor Kaysen, T, Tiffany Wright, Trent Grolmus, Verdigree Dreams, Bernie Zhu, Victoria Fonseca, and Wesley Lamentino. And now for an even dirtier and even nastier shout out for all of my dirty plant hosts out there. Danny Ryan, Alex Truell, Alexandra Kennedy, All Fallon's Franz, Allie Pierpoint, Allie Wells, Allison Havens, Alyssa Braden, Amber Metter, Amy Baxter, Andrew Wolf, Angela's Foliage Affair, Anna D, April Showers, Buy Me Flowers, Ariel Roots, Arlisa B, Ashley Kathleen, Aubrey Puff, Botanicaz, LLC, C. Woe, Cassidy Walker, Kate Christie, Chelsea Clifton, Chrissy Spencer, Christina Kuntz, Christy Stewart, Sierra Jones, Danny Sprague, Deanne Santos, Denise Tomer, Diana Warner, Ellen Hoover, Emily Cephalou, Emily Forge, Emma LaCroix, Emma Wiley, Erica David, Florence Ramirez, Gab, Gabby Burnaby, Gina the Great, Haley Eblen, Haley Stanley, Hazel Foreman, Heather Lamb, Heather Lucart, Heather Worrell, Henrik Arnes, Hollis Good, Houseplant Heather, Izzy H, Ja Meow, Jasmine Renee, Jedi KCC, Jennifer Rouse, Jennifer Lee Johnson, Jenny Vanderbilt, Jess Marvel, Jessica McCack, Jessica Stanford, Jill Cunningham, Joanna Meyer, Joanne Hernandez, Caitlin Guavi, Karen Brackville, Carissa, uh, Caitlin Oaks, Catherine Sproles, Katie, Kayla Taylor, Kelly Smith, Kelly Costello, Kelsey Cowan, Kim Latimer, Kristen Williams, Christy D, Krista Leah B, Laura C, Mary Boots, Mark Strahl, Megan Earls, Megan Gowdy, Melissa Hartog, Melissa Mintz, Michelle G, Mirena, Miss Lisa, Natural State Ashley, Nicholas Caruso, Nikki Grilly, Odd Avocado Tree, Olivia Wise, Peyton Gold, Pinky from Hot Farms, Plant Friend Down the Street, Plant Princess, Simonetta, QR, Rianne Chukasang, Rico 9383, Riley Elizabeth, Wren, Root and Leaf, Sarah Schwartz, Savannah Archuleta, Shannon Mattingly, Shay Bro, Spotted Oreo 10, Stacey Anderson, Stephanie McKinnis, Tammy Carroll, Tara Peterson, Terrace Plants, Tropics in the Midwest, Teddy Ruxpin, Tara Wolfgang, Tess Botsis, That Girl and Her Dog, The Fiber Circus, The Hatter's Madness, The Plants Channel, The Plants Meow, Tim Burton, Tracy Buzzle, Tyler Frakes, Valerie, Vanessa Gutierrez, Venus J, Victoria Olson, Wendy Hartman, Whitney Sales, Wicked Witch Roxy, Will H, Winter Rose, and Yvonne Smith. You guys are amazing. I hope that you have an absolutely amazing week. I love you so, so, so much. We, we, we are continuously blown away by you guys' support. We love you guys. See you next time. Bye.